Welcome back to NBA Cinema. We got to talk about Harry Giles Jr. today. Now, this guy is out here in Las Vegas, and he's showing teams what he has to offer. He looks completely healthy, and a healthy Harry Giles is a phenomenal basketball player. And I think he should already be in the NBA. What I like about it is he's showing guys. He's not, he ain't hiding, he ain't ducking, he ain't trying to just get a job based off what he's done in the past he's showing you i'm still that hg3 all i need is the right fit and opportunity and i'll show you i'm amongst some of the better power forwards in the nba harry giles has elite playmaking ability one of the best passers you'll find in the position in the league and i know that without him playing for a year um what he can do at the high post is almost unmatched. I mean, you're going to get some of the same passing plays you get from like a Nikola Jokic from Harry Giles, to be honest with you. This guy can score. He can do it all. And I think Sacramento should even consider giving him a call back. Charlotte, he's from Winston-Salem. What are y'all doing? You don't think Harry Giles has a spot on your team where he can get a lot of minutes? What are you doing? Sometimes the only way you can get these players is if they go through a little adversity. Uh, Charlotte's not doing their due diligence as an organization. I'm sorry. Um, We're going to check out his pro day. I hope his management don't mind me using this because I want to highlight how great of a basketball player and an asset Harry Giles can be to an organization. Let's peep it. So you know how skilled he is. You see he can play the pick and pop game perfectly. See he can spread the floor. You see what he can do from the high post elbow jumpers. You didn't get to see the passing ability as much there, but that's well documented. Harry Giles was over Jason Tatum and all of these guys coming out of high school. Now we know he had his injuries several times in his high school career and that caused him to drop a little bit. He went to Duke. You know, they low managed him somewhat to protect him. Um, you know, he got to the league, was drafted with like 19th, 20th, something like that. Um, 
you know, he played really, really well in his spot minutes. So there's nothing like Harry Giles has done wrong in his NBA career other than, you know, he was hurt and they he, he didn't get to really spread his wings. He was always a great teammate. But I'm here to tell you, any team that's willing to listen, Harry Giles, if you if you're a Charlotte or somebody, let them play. Give them the opportunity you gave Dennis Smith Jr. I promise you Harry Giles will put up 18, 11 boards, five assists, a couple blocks, or a block and a half. I can promise you that. If you give him, like, an opportunity and, you know, he's able to get starters minutes somewhere, I promise you he could put up teens, mid-teens, I won't even say 18, mid-teens, he can get you close to double-digit rebounds. He going to give you four or five assists, whether that's in a short amount of time or extended minutes. But this young man can help you win. And I don't want teams to just see him as someone that's just been injured. Give him a minimum deal. Let Harry, But give him the opportunity. That's what I, that's what I would tell teams. Give him – the vet minimum, whatever, right? But give him an opportunity to play. And if he was able to play extended minutes, even if you don't keep him, multiple teams will see what he's able to do. And I promise you, Harry Giles will secure himself a three, four-year deal and, you know, give his family generational wealth based off of his gifts. I don't feel like the man's been given a fair shake and that's why I'm speaking up on it, because I know what he can do. Um, you know, he was going to be a Chris Webber type player if he would have been healthy. There's no doubt about that. But my point is he's healthy again. And you have to be willing to give these gems, diamonds in the rough, a chance to show that they're back. I think the only thing that stands in his way is fit and opportunity. If he's able to play extended minutes, stay healthy, show what he can do, sky's the limit still for Harry Giles Jr. Let me know what you guys think in the comments about this. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Until next time, peace.